I'm Brad and my Customs Officer from Board Australian Customs Tender on the 31st of January 2008. Well, back in 2008, the Australian government sent a customs vessel down to document Japan's whaling in Australia's Antarctic Territory. And what you're about to see is the footage that they took at that expedition. Footage that Sea Shepherd have fought the government very hard on for many years to obtain. The area that these whales are being hunted in is in a southern ocean whale sanctuary and yet they are being chased with these harpoon ships that are doing 23, 24 knots and these whales are swimming at 16, 17 knots to try and outrun these harpoon ships but eventually they come up exhausted. And when these whales are hit with an explosive harpoon it sends shrapnel through their bodies and then hooks come out. And so there's no way for these whales to escape. They're thrashing around, trying to get away from these harpoon ships, but this cable drags them back up to the surface. You know, it takes a long time for these whales to die. It's barbaric. And this goes on in an established Southern Ocean whale century, in an Australian whale century. Once these whales die, they are tied up alongside a harpoon ship before that harpoon ship rendezvous with the factory ship, the Nishimaru, and then it is transferred up the slipway of the Nishimaru, where it is diced up for the markets in Tokyo. Although this footage was taken in 2008, we still have the Japanese whaling fleet heading down to the Southern Ocean Whale Century to kill whales. And unless there is action from our Australian government, in 10 years time, we are still going to see whales being killed in an established whale century. I guess the question has to be asked is does the Australian government you know, represent the wishes of the Australian public that want to see an end to whaling or Tokyo? It's time the Australian government stepped up and sent a vessel south.